You've probably heard about food poisoning before, or maybe you've experienced it yourself. Did you know that in some cases, it can be fatal? Stay tuned to find out about a devastating true story about how eating your leftovers can be a terrible mistake. It was a day like any other when a healthy 20-year-old man returned home from school for the evening. Eager to get something to eat, he walked into the kitchen to find the spaghetti he'd made earlier that week sitting on the counter. He remembered that it had been about five days since he made the food, and it had been sitting out in room temperature ever since. He warmed it up in the microwave. Realizing he was late for soccer practice, he scarfed down the pasta as fast as he could and headed out the door. Practice had barely started and he noticed something was wrong. He started to feel nauseous and had a serious head and stomach ache. Assuming it was just a combination of his long day at school and not letting his dinner digest, he returned home 30 minutes into practice. As soon as he walked into his home, he became violently ill. He couldn't leave the bathroom. He was vomiting up everything he had in his system, and he even had watery stool. He didn't think it would be worth taking any medication. He couldn't have kept it down. He was finally able to fall asleep just after midnight. But sadly, he never woke up. An autopsy was done five days after his death. Why there was such a delay, we don't know, but it meant that the autopsy findings couldn't be determined to be the cause of death or if they were due to the delay. His heart looked normal, but almost all of his other organs, including the pancreas, liver, kidneys, and colon were destroyed. They found flora in his intestines, but no wounds that would have allowed dangerous bacteria to enter the body. Two separate strains of the bacteria, Bacillus cereus, were found in the fecal swabs. Sure enough, when the pasta he consumed was tested, significant amounts of B. cereus were found in the noodles. Both strands of the B. cereus from the fecal swabs and that of the pasta contained extreme amounts of cerealide and non-hemolytic enterotoxin, two toxins produced by B. cereus. The researchers were unable to determine what exactly the cause of death was, but it was likely an indirect cause through the severe amounts of B. cereus cells in the body and the high concentration of cerealide in the pasta. B. cereus is able to infect people as it does not get destroyed in high temperatures, like those in the stove or the microwave. This bacteria thrives in starchy foods like pasta, and it's able to create cerealide, the toxin, which attaches to potassium ions around human cells. This ends up causing the cells to die and the organs along with it. In serious enough conditions like this, the high levels of the toxin in the body can be deadly. If we can learn anything from the unfortunate fate of this young man, it's that we need to be aware of how and for how long we are storing our food. Bacteria will thrive in temperatures from 40 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, so cooked food should always be kept in the fridge, and it should never be kept in the fridge for longer than three or four days. So if you can't remember how long something's been sitting up to cool, or how long something's been sitting in your fridge, Always remember, when in doubt, throw it out.